health officials are usually prioritizing around this time of year, the flu. But officials say this flu season has been unlike, unlike any other that they've seen before, but in a good way. 23BC's Austin Westfall is live at Mercy Hospital Southwest with details on how prevalent flu cases have been during the pandemic. Good evening, Austin. A little soggy out here right now, Alex. We're feeling some of that rain that you guys are talking about, but right now what we're talking about is the flu. Uh, in the early months of the pandemic, something that many people were worried about was the onset of something called a twindemic, the meeting of both COVID-19 and the flu coming at the same time. But as the months have gone on, and as we've heard from hospitals like Mercy Southwest behind me, it's becoming more and more apparent that this flu season hasn't even been that much of a problem at all. We still really haven't had anybody very, very, very few admissions for flu. I think it's the lowest we've ever seen in Kern County, and I think nationwide. It's remarkably still zero for Mercy. You might be tired of hearing the word unprecedented amid the pandemic, but this time it's for a positive reason. Kern County appears to be having an unprecedented, quiet flu season. Our flu season has been minimal compared to other years. California Department of Public Health data shows by this time last year, 516 Californians had died from the flu. This year, that number is only 34. Take a look at this map too. Regions with elevated flu activity were marked in red last year, basically the whole state. Compare that to now, there's no elevated flu activity to be seen. So what's the cause? Health experts say changes made due to the pandemic deserve some credit. I think the big effort behind that is the masking, the social distancing, and the hand washing. All of the safety protocols we have asked you to implement for COVID-19 are the very same things that are going to protect you from spreading the flu. For years, public health has stressed many of the protective measures we've now become used to. Washing hands, coughing into your sleeve, and staying home if you're sick were common messages. Now it appears those measures, plus mask wearing, have made a huge difference. Public health hoping this lesson is carried on into the future. This is a game changer. We've become much more aware and we should always be looking to implement um, a majority of these protocols, at least moving forward. Now we asked Corson if she could share any flu specific data for Kern County. She said that on the local level, a lot of that data isn't reportable unless the patient for the flu is under 18 years old and they've died. Not a lot of those cases are happening, and none of those cases like that have happened here in Kern County this flu season, that's for sure. For now, though, here in Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23 BC, connecting you.